Hey there, Haley with Jason Learning, and I am here with Reza Cockrell, who is the co-founder of the Habitat and the Habitat Foundation. And we just wanted to ask you a little bit about what you're doing here. Can you tell us a little bit about the Habitat in general? Sure. Uh, first, I'd like to say welcome to the Jason Learning community. We can't, I can't tell you how excited we are to have all of you guys following uh, the project and following the BioBlitz and really appreciate the team coming out here, especially the Jason Argonauts that have been so great in helping out the, the team and the researchers in the field. I wanted to know kind of where the idea came from to make this place in general. So my family actually lives up here on Penang Hill. We have lived up here for about 20 years. We saw the potential of uh, getting people more access into the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we go, particularly in Asia, we find that people have become so disconnected from the natural environment. We are part of this ecosystem, we're part of this biosphere. So it's really important that we continue that connection. So we wanted to build a park that allows people to, to re-enter the rainforest in a, in a relatively controlled and sort of hospitable environment. So why was it so important for you to bring the BioBlitz here? It was really important for us to bring the BioBlitz because uh, what we're really trying to do in Penang is turn Penang Hill, uh, the forest that we're in right now, mm -hmm. into a UNESCO Man in the Biosphere Reserve. That for us is a, a way of just protecting the forest even more than it already is and this BioBlitz forms the baseline science that goes into the actual application for the, for the UNESCO listing. I can really see this place becoming a total science hotspot because, I mean, it has so many amenities because of its location. To have a tropical rainforest so close to a large city like Penang, uh, we're close to an international airport, we're close to a world-class educational institution, University of Science Malaysia, close to hotels, great food, culture, all that kind of stuff. It just makes the logistics of getting into a rainforest to conduct research like that so much easier. So where do you see the habitat going from here? There's so much potential. There's a lot of potential in this part of the world. Uh, one of the big things that we're working on is the Habitat Foundation, which is a sister organization to the Habitat Park itself. Mm -hmm. What the foundation aims to do is recycle the profits from the park uh, and provide opportunities for conservation research, conservation education, and the promotion of sustainable ecotourism projects. So one of the big things uh, that we hope to kick off very soon is the Habitat Research Center. Um, it's an old bungalow on the hill that we're hoping to convert into a research center and make available for uh, researchers, scientists, professors, students from all over the world and hopefully here in Malaysia as well. Well, thank you so much for talking to us about this amazing place. First of all, thank you for making it. It's <laughs> awesome. And we really hope that it becomes everything that it has the potential to become because this place is outstanding. It's amazing. I'm Very much. Back. Very much appreciated, always welcome. And uh, as well to the Jason Learning community, we hope to have many more of these events in the future and uh, hope that all of you will have an opportunity to either come out here and be part of it, or of course join uh, watching online or the live feeds. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks very much.